The plant has been revealed. Arc Apocalypse Server Wipe and a look back at the DLC countdown. Your art kids, it's Ras Clark and welcome to your regular art community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So we've got a brand new reveal of a new thing in Genesis Part 2 called the Carniflora, which we have to assume is related to all the plant teasers we've been seeing in the backgrounds of all of the images up until now. Yes, we have a giant Venus flytrap in Ark. And the subtext says, be careful when you're taking in the beauty of the landscapes and fauna around you. Some things like the Carniflora want to take you in and get a closer look too meaning this is going to be a thing out in the wild ready to trap you at a moment's notice. So we at least know they're going to spawn out there in the wild, adding to the roster of annoyances like Trudons and Raptors in Ark, ready to take you down and make your life as punishing as possible. But is this the adult version of the tentacle we can see in the Federation crop plot? Perhaps it might be, however I don't see the Carniflora looking very tentacly. I've got a video on what I theorise that to be, a whole new turret plant of its own, go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. So the question is, do we get to own these ourselves and how are we going to use them? It's a plant so of course I'm not expecting this to walk around, but of course we can see it's trapping an Ovis. And what relevance does it have in gameplay? I'm hoping that this might be the ultimate trap. We've of course got things like Plant Y, Bear Traps and bowlers to trap people and creatures, but what if this is something we can use to trap players or creatures for a longer period of time? All of the current traps up until now just don't last long enough, and whilst there's some adverse concerns on people trolling people with this, I'm still hopeful we might be able to use this ourselves. And is this indeed the plant? Because as we can see in this picture, right in the background is the same plant they've been dropping in previous pictures. And it doesn't quite look the same, so perhaps this ominous plant is yet to be revealed. It's of course trapping an Ovis, confirming that our lovable sheep are going to be in Genesis Part 2, so you'll still be able to mutton time on the last map. We can also see in the background some snowy peaks, which we've seen in the trailer, but it's good to see high mountainous snowy peaks will be in this map. And on a spaceship, how big is this spaceship? How big is this map? If you didn't catch my previous video, the devs have said this is going to be the biggest map there has ever been and it's certainly shaping up to be one. I am beginning to wonder what these metal structures are at the bottom of the picture. They were also in the previous picture for the tech bow and perhaps these are alluding to something? Could be nothing but worth thinking about. But yes, after so long, we finally see something new in Genesis Part 2. We've not seen anything since the Void Wirum in Feb and there's not long to go. We are less than two weeks to go, 26th of May. Make sure to subscribe as I will be covering everything as we get closer to the date, as well as covering everything on the day. So Arcpocalypse servers have wiped, they are clean and ready for a new 30 day experience. If you don't know what an Arcpocalypse server is, it's the arc you know and love, but with everything ramped up to three. Three times the official rates, with of course maturation being the best one of all. Making breeding so much easier than it is. But of course with boosted rates means a limited server. You've got 30 days to grind and beat and conquer the Arcpocalypse servers. And are you one of those that enjoy these experiences? The higher boosts but wiped servers. Me personally, I've never played Arcpocalypse servers, but I do agree servers do need a wipe now and then. One month is a bit much for me. We know Arc players put some serious time into this game. And to know it's all going to go in one month perhaps takes that element of attachment to Arc and makes it a more enjoyable game with less worry about being raided and enjoying PvP for what it is. Do you play on these servers? Comment below, let me know, and I want to know what you think. I'd love to know what you think about these types of servers and if you do prefer a wipe date. And lastly, a plug for a plug time. I dropped a video quite recently called A Timeline of Arc Survival Evolved DLC Countdowns. And I can hear you saying, why am I doing a video about my video? Well, because it's gained some attention with the devs in particular. And I just wanted to put that out there that I'm so humbled and grateful that that video has resonated with the Ark Survival Evolved developers. 
it's certainly for me at least a love letter to the DLC countdowns we've been through over the years as we approach the final countdown of the final DLC for Ark Survival Evolved. If you've been in the Ark scene for a while now, I do encourage you to go and watch it because I really did put the time in to ensure all the facts of when stuff happened at what points in time to give you that full rundown. And even if you weren't around, it's a great opportunity to catch up and see how we've got to this point now. And that's enough of the plug. I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think of the new Carniflora? Comment below, let me know. I want to know. And I can't wait to see what's coming next. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.